Questions for Marcus? Oh. None? All right, let's, let's go to the back. Tom? Hey, Marcus, uh, can you just talk about the play where uh, I think everybody was holding their breath as you dove into the end zone and what was going through your mind? And and did you – obviously, it didn't look like you hesitated on anything like that as far as, like, the risk of injury and those kinds of things. But can you just take us through that play? Yeah. Um, you know, we, we started out – we wanted a kind of a big shot play. Um, we ended up kind of having miscommunication. So uh, – it was kind of the play was kind of messed up on the left, and um, I saw an, I saw a scrambling to the right, and I just kind of went, and I came out thinking I was going to throw the ball to Keenan, um, but Keenan kind of turned, I started blocking, and I just kind of took off, and um, I figured I was close enough to the goal line that I could try to jump in there, I guess. The coach said he talked to you about jumping and those <laughs> kinds of things. Yeah, he uh, he told me right after I got off the, to the sideline to never do that again. So. <laughs> Um, I'll take that as a as a warning. <laughs> Rick, go back. Will you not do that ever again, or do you think that maybe when the opportunity presents itself, instincts will take over? You're right. Um, if it if it happens that way, um, you know, I'll just let my instincts take over. I, you know, it's it's tough to, you know, as a football player to to kind of stop yourself from doing something. So uh, obviously, if that kind of comes around again, I'll uh, I'll do whatever it takes to to get that touchdown or whatever the team needs. Eric? Helfers pointed out, though, and Frost as well, that players like you just have to play and do what you do and that they can't sort of reel you in. But it sounds like he told you never to do that again. But is it hard to think about that when you're playing, about your safety and just you're just a player, right, making a play? Yeah. I mean, it, you can't really think about those types of things because that's when you'll get hurt. Um, you know, my dad always told me if you play, um, you know, with, with your mind about worrying or cautious, um, you know, you, you play at half speed and you end up getting yourself hurt. So, um, you know, I always take the warnings from the coaches, but, I, you know, I end up doing what I have to do. Marcus, uh, however, in the second half, you did slide on one play and you did get out of bounds. Was that a factor of Mark being in your ear? Um, more or less. You know, that's, you know, for the first one, I figured that there was really no more running lanes there, so I just kind of slid. And then um, the second play, um, you know, I felt I couldn't get any more yards, so I just kind of went out of bounds. And that doesn't mean it was after a first down. So, Steve, Marcus, second week in a row, kind of in game, your line switched and had to shuffle due to injury. You notice kind of who's out there? Any difference, or, or what's it kind of like for you when guys are kind of shuffling in and out? It's always the next guy up. Um, Coach Greenwood does a great job preparing each and every single one of those guys, and um, we have all the confidence in the world in those guys. Um, Matt Pearson has been one of those guys that stepped up even during fall camp, and um, he played well today. Jake, middle. Marcus, it seemed like you kind of took the game over at one point early in the first half. Did, did you feel the need to, to take over the game and kind of put it all on your shoulders, or, or did it just come naturally to you? Yeah, I... Just kind of came naturally. I just, you know, I don't know. I just played within uh, the coach's systems, wanted to execute what we had on uh, for our offense and um, just try to get in a rhythm. I felt as, a, as an offense, we played well. I mean, aside from getting stopped on that fourth down in the first drive, I mean, we scored on pretty much every other drive. Your last two first quarters have been a little bit slower than maybe you guys are used to. What kind of thing can you gain from having to overcome a slow start in the middle of a game? I mean, you said it best. It's it's good to kind of go through a little adversity. Um, you know, it's not always going to be easy. You you got to fight through some things. Um, you know, it wasn't a factor that we weren't moving the ball. I mean, we went down on our first drive and got all the way down to the two. I mean, uh, for us, it's just kind of punching it in and finishing. And um, eventually, we got to that, and, and we did a good job of executing in the red zone. We have Farrow in the cuticles in the back. Tom. Yeah, back here, Marcus. Um, Johnny Lloyd talked about uh, you know his touchdown and and how it he, it was a different feeling than playing basketball. He also said you're the best quarterback he's ever played with. You deliver the ball on the money. You obviously watched him when he played hoops. Can you maybe give us your feeling about getting to throw him a touchdown pass and giving him that uh, that kind of feeling? It was great. I was I mean uh, just like everybody else on our team, you know, I was I was excited. I was juiced for him. He was it was funny because you could tell when he scored, he wasn't sure what to do. He was kind of like. He was surprised, um, but you know that guy's putting a lot of hard work um, through fall camp. You know, coming in and not playing football for four years, and and now he's doing what he's doing. Uh, it's it's a special athlete to be able to do that, and um, you know it's it was fun playing with that guy, and it was it was great to see him score today. Steve, 
Steve? Marcus, you've talked about how Dargan's gotten you a few times in camp. Nice to see him get the other guys too the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, I, I told him, you know, after a second one, I said, you know, hopefully I won't throw you anymore in practice. You're getting enough out here. So he's doing a great job. I mean, he, he's a great athlete. He makes plays like that all the time. And, um, you know, it's, it's fun to see that guy execute like that. Marcus, going back to the play where you flipped and stuff, sh show us what you saw during that time. Were you seeing like sky, then crowd, then feet, or what? Uh, it happened so fast. I mean, I don't, you know, I everyone kind of talked to me about it afterwards. You know, I'm kind of used to kind of somersaulting like that. Um, you know, growing up in the water, growing up in the ocean. Um, you know, I've I've had my fair share of you know somersaults from getting pulled down by a wave or something like that. So once I was in the air, I just kind of naturally tucked, and that's, you know, how I, was, I always have done it. So um, it didn't feel awkward or anything like that for me. Matt Pearson is in there, right here, Austin. Marcus, this was the most we'd seen you run today so far this year. Is that just been a function of the game plan, you think, or is it sort of do you look at running as kind of a, a last resort if, if there's nobody open? I mean, for me, it's just when I'm scrambling around, I, I do look for guys that are open downfield. Um, Wyoming did one of those things where they carried everybody. Once uh, once I got out of the pocket, they, they turned around and ran with the receivers. So, um, you know, the coaches always talk about uh, once the defenders turn around, you know, they, they don't have their eyes on you and you can just kind of take off. And that's what happened today. Tom, a couple more for Marcus. Marcus, um, we, you haven't been to Pullman. You haven't played the Cougars up there. He played them in Seattle a couple of years ago. What have you heard about Pullman and the environment there and, um, you know, kind of what you're going to face on the field as well? <laughs> um, Corona's brother played at Washington State, Nico, and he's always talked about how we have to be ready to get, uh, you know, ready to be prepared for anything, really. I mean, it's kind of a hostile environment, as he explains it. I haven't been up there before, um, but this is going to be our first road game. Uh, it'll be a true test for a lot of these young guys. Um, but it'd be a lot of fun. You know, I like playing in those types of atmospheres, and, um, you know, we're looking forward to it. Last one for Marcus right here, Eric. Marcus, we all realize the next man up mentality, but if Jake is out for any length of time, you guys could be minus three offensive tackles with a combined 12 years of experience. Is that concerning at all to you? I mean, you know, injuries happen. It's uh, part of the game. But, you know, with, with – uh, the amount of preparation that Coach Wood puts in and, you know, this guy leading those guys um, up front, I mean, you know, we'll be okay. You know, I, I have all the trust in the world. I mean, a lot of those guys took snaps during fall camp with the ones, and um, they, they held their own. So uh, I think we'll be fine. I'll give you one more, Dave. It's for Ron. Okay. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Mark. Right there on your side.